One of the latest biohacking crazes is viewing sunlight for 15 minutes in the morning. Is this really as effective as biohackers make it out to be? Well, let's dive into the neuroscience. Number one, morning sunlight is the strongest natural cue for setting our circadian rhythm or our 24 hour cycle that regulates sleep wake patterns, body temperature, and even hormones. Number two is cortisol release and alertness. So exposure to natural morning light triggers the release of cortisol, a hormone that promotes alertness and helps us wake up. Now the surge in the morning is beneficial. Too much cortisol is bad, but we need some to get us out of bed in the morning and wake us up. So this helps to increase energy levels and focus. Number three is viewing bright light in the morning helps to suppress melatonin, the hormone that induces sleepiness. This signals to the brain that it's time to be awake. And this is also very beneficial for helping the body to time its release of melatonin later in the evening so that you'll have a healthier sleep cycle. Morning light helps to boost the production of serotonin. This is our happy and feel good neurochemical. And lastly, morning light can help to improve eye health. By regulating dopamine levels in the retina, this can help reduce the risk of nearsightedness which has been associated with spending too much time indoors. So viewing morning sunlight for 10 to 30 minutes can have profound effects on the brain and body. Try it for yourself. You can even measure whether it's working for you with the Six app. Six tracks your emotional fitness and peak moments throughout the day. And I guarantee you will see some peaks if you view sunlight early in the morning.